Welcome to Pro Kitchen 7.0 Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new windows in Pro Kitchen. Yes, folks, I said new windows. We've gone through the windows, we've updated them, we've added new functionality to them, and we've really made them something pretty special. <clears throat> so if we open our windows and architectural elements, you'll see that a lot of these are the same. We still have the casement windows and the single, double, and awning windows. We've added um, bay and bow windows to the buildup. But let's take a look at a casement window for starters. You'll notice when I pop on this guy, it looks like it's totally different. You can see there's outside brick mold on it. Um, really set up quite different than the windows we used to have. So let's take a look at the design and see how some of these windows look in actual use. Got my design open here. And here I've got a bow window installed. And we're going to take a quick 3D of it. And there it is. I removed the wall cabinets beside the window so you could really see what the window looked like. Here we've got a nice new window sitting out in there. And of course you can change your images and all that stuff in the window, just like always. And I'm going to close my 3D. We're going to come up here and I'm going to right click on the window. And I'm going to choose the window attributes. And here in attributes, You'll notice that we've got a new button in here, Edit Window Parameters. We've also got Select Background and Reset to Catalog Defaults. So we're going to play with Edit Window Parameters for starters here. I'm going to pop into this guy, move this around so everybody can see it. Here's my window that I have placed on the plan. We're under the Size and Layout tab, and we can adjust these to however we want it to be. Of course, it kind of takes away the bow part when you get into there and adjust some of them because they can't, won't adjust to the bow. But we can change them from the bow window to a bay window of different configurations, different degrees, different amounts of panes in them. There's a box window. So there's all sorts of fun things we can do with these windows now as we swap them up. And that's under our size and layout. We can also adjust the size of them in here. Come over to our construction. We can tell it how we want them. If we want those to be casement units, or picture units, or whatever. And these don't necessarily all work for the bow windows because, well, it's a bow window. You can't really bend that glass around. Um, you can do radial. We'll show that off in a bit with a square window. Uh, grill patterns. Here we've got new grill patterns. You can choose your pattern here. And you can even choose your grill work in there. Come up on here and choose the next one. And you just click up in there. There we go. Now we got new grills and all of that bad boy. <coughs> Window glazing. This is kind of fun. We can play with it just a little bit. If you get tired of that little guy spinning up there, if you just click in it, single click will stop it, single click will start it. So you can have them rotate around to where you get the best view of it. Stop him from moving. And I guess I want to move him just one more time. Anybody dizzy yet? There we go. Single glaze. So we can do not glazed. Looks pretty much the same as single glaze, but the gla if you look, notice, it's just a little bit more clear here. Using the... Uh, center button or the center roller on your mouse. If you've got a roller on your mouse, you can zoom that in and out. <clears throat> Single glazed gives it just a little bit of frosting on there. Double glazed gives it a little bit more frosting. You can choose where you want the grill. No grills. Inside only. Inside and outside. And if you zoom right in on this, we rotate it just a little bit you'll see that there are inside and outside there and you can do between the glass option and we can click on our, oh we can change the uh, glass as well from clear to matte you see it's slightly opaque a lot more opaque and smoked there we go nice smoky windows <clears throat> so if you have some big windows that need to look like they have window tint on them. You can definitely do that. 
Now we'll take a look at the window interiors. And here we can change the color of the window to whatever we need it to be. We can also set a stool and apron if necessary. Click on install stool and apron and then you can choose which stool and which apron you want. Select that guy, get up here and zoom out, let him rotate. You can see our stool and apron at the bottom of it there. <clears throat> there we go, a nice little stool and apron hanging out there. Zoom back in just a little bit on it. And I'm going to uninstall it for now. Window exterior, you can change your brick mold. We've got a couple options in here. If anybody needs more options, just let us know what they are. We can get those put in there for you. And hardware. We can change the hardware on it. Of course, this is a window without hardware, so, you know, better get one that shows that. So, so that goes through all of our new construction parameters. And you can select your background again. You can choose whichever background you would like. Background like this is what it's been looking like around here for the last few months. Put that in there, and it'll show up on the on the layout. And you can reset them all to catalog defaults when you're when you realize you got it so screwed up that you can't remember what it was. So there's that guy. I'm gonna go delete him real quick, and we're gonna grab stick a couple other ones out there so you can see how these guys work. Do a casement window. I would imagine that's probably one of the most popular windows we use here. <clears throat> you notice we've got the tool tip popping up here. Slide that over so it stays on my screen. Here we can change the width and the height of the window. We can choose the distance it's placed from the end of a wall. So we could place it, you know, say 24 inches from the left end. And if you type that in, you have to hit your uh, enter button to get it to set, otherwise it doesn't set. Or you can use your buttons over here and you don't need to use enter. <clears throat> and you can change the elevation of that. Now this is the uh, top, so it'll be from the floor to the top of the window. And if you want to go back to your standard parameters, you can hit reset. We're going to place this guy 24 inches from the left end of a wall. Whoops, no we're not, not if I hit reset. 24, enter, there we go. And I'm just going to come up here, I'm going to click on the window, whoops, click on place, there we go. And there it is, 24 inches from that wall. And let's take another one and set this at zero. And reset, there we go. Put 24 inches down here. And place. And there it is, 24 inches from the wall. And cancel. We'll pop up 3D real quick here to check it out. There's our 3D. Walls both 24 inches from the end. Now we can come, go back to the attributes, edit window parameters, adjust my box a little bit, window interior, window exterior, hardware. Here we can get the hardware to show. Oh, there's our hardware. Satin nickel, oil rubbed. Rotate it around here and stop this spinning motion. And there we go. Zoom in a little bit. Brush brass. Antique brass. Satin nickel. Bright chrome. So there's a few options in there to play with. Okay, and again, you got the select background right there. So you can choose your background if you want to. Um, reset to catalog default again. So there's a lot of new windows in here, lots of fun things to play and look at. Horizontal slider windows are available, picture windows, of course we've got the awning windows, the double hung windows, these have been in there the whole time. Um, you'll notice the grids are in there all the time with them. Um, the reason that is, is you can turn them off in the window attributes now, we didn't have to build special windows to show it. So, we've got legacy windows, these are the old ones. If you want to go in and use the old windows the way they were, if you use one of these old windows, all the new features are not available, but they're still there just in case you happen to have a super favorite window that you want to use. So we left those in there for you as well. So hopefully you guys will get a lot of miles out of this new stuff. 
uh, the new windows and uh, definitely help make your plans look a lot better in 3D. So this has been Pro Kitchen 7.0 New Windows and Features video tutorial. Thank you for watching.